Hello world, it's Mr. Resistor. We are on uh, day three of our new bro journey here. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a short one, um, but I'm going to talk about two really important things. So um, our login gift today is a cerebral accelerator. Um, these are very cool. They will increase uh, our skill training speed. Right, so um, currently I'm training rapid fire. Uh, at, and I've got about five hours left. So let's look at the uh, description here real quick. Uh, so this will last for two days. It gives me a three point boost. To each of my uh, specs and um, and you will want to use this right away as you can see here maximum pilot age 45 days um, so I am going to redeem to current station and that'll apply so you can see here my training time uh, has dropped by about 40 minutes so um, from <clears throat> just over five hours to four hours 23 minutes um, and you can see hopefully this little lightning bolt here so all of these skills in my queue aren't gonna benefit from this training booster okay um, so now that we've got that taken care of, uh, I am hopefully just going to do this one mission, um, but this one is super important to know about. Um, fly the frigate your agent gave you into the pirate base. Once the explosive chargers inside have been set off, your assignment will be complete. So. What does that mean? That means this ship will get destroyed. So, uh, let's assemble this ship. We will make it active. And then we're going to buy insurance. Um, <coughs> this is just to get us a little more money so insurance uh, lasts for three months um, normally I don't fly uh, ships you know once I'm past the uh, initial career mission phase and sort of out of the starter starter zone I normally don't leave dock um, without uh, insurance and normally I just get the basic if you do some math here it pays out basically 10 to 1 and it's you know just in case something happens and you lose a ship uh, it's not gonna hurt quite as bad um, but because this one is guaranteed to blow up we're gonna go for the platinum um, you know payout is significantly less a bit over uh, a bit over three to one um, but that's still going to be um, a much uh, a much bigger profit, right? If you calculate the our profit percentage here, there's going to be a significant difference. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. I'm going to undock. <clears throat> Warp to location. Warp drive active. Uh, <clears throat> so we can see down here, um, our insurance contract was issued. Um, a lot of times, uh, sometimes we'll get a mail also. Um, Alright, acceleration gate. 
Warp drive active. And we are going to target approach. Now, you know, I haven't equipped my ship with anything, um, you know, if we wanted to go get this done a little bit faster, we could add uh, um, a civilian afterburner or something from our, uh, from our Corvette. Um, you know, something that doesn't have a lot of value. Um, so we're not going to mind losing it. Cool. So there it goes. Ah, oh, I did not active. get the kill for a skilling spree. So it looks like I am going to have to do one more mission. Um, but you can see insurance. <clears throat> Here's our initial mail telling us that we got the insurance policy. Here's the one for the payout. Um, hundred and 65,000 so <coughs> there is one other mission uh, in Docking the requested. Docking request accepted. Um, in this career path um, the uh, soldier of fortune career path where you explicitly need to lose your ship um, don't forget to buy the insurance on that one too. Um, so for now, we're gonna close that. We'll do our do do do. Cool, and that's gonna get us our slasher. So. Um, For the most part, uh, once we get that slasher and get some guns on it, that's going to be our main ship uh, for doing combat missions. <coughs> Warp drive active. Set ourselves to orbit. Ah, you know what? It's throwing me off a little bit. Okay, so one other thing that I normally do is I turn on the tactical overlay. So you can see that gives us a rough range. Um, uh, this dotted line is how far out we can target things, I believe. Um, we hover over our gun that tells us gives us an idea of the range um, you might also notice this blue line here which is the orbit that we are trying to follow um, this arrow is our actual current direction <clears throat> um, and our targets let's see if we go ahead and zoom in here you can see our targets have little arrows telling us which way they're going also um, and these are 
relative velocities, so this wreckage here isn't actually moving, but relative to my position, it's moving away from me currently. since we're not moving too far away. Let's try and salvage while we're fighting. Nothing like a little multitasking, yeah? And you can see we've fulfilled our kill requirement for skilling spree. Um, and those uh, skill points have been directly applied to our total. which we are saving for later. Okay, we've got two more incoming here. Salvager only has a range of 5,000, as you can see, so if we go outside of that range a little bit, we're just fine, um, as long as we're not completely out of range when it finishes its cycle. So if we're orbiting and we go a little bit far, as long as we come back in, we'll still be able to salvage, and uh, we were right on the edge with that one. <clears throat> um, similarly <clears throat> with guns um, so you'll see here we've got two ranges um, the optimal range and the fall off range so um, the optimal range is where you're going to have the best uh, damage application right? assuming you hit um, And so, you know, ideally for whatever, when when you're uh, orbiting or whatever, you want to try and be within optimal range. Um, but um, <clears throat> and then if you're outside of if you're outside of fall off range, and you can see we've got the two circles here, right? We've got we've got our smaller red circle and our larger red circle. So those those are our optimal range. It's the smaller one. The bigger one is our fall off range. Fall off is um, essentially um, how far out you can still hit stuff and reliably do damage. Sometimes you'll still be able to, to do uh, to do damage outside of the fall off range um, a little bit. I'm not totally sure how the math works out there, but uh, <clears throat> as a general rule, you want to keep your targets inside of your fall off range, um, otherwise, you're just wasting ammo. And we'll salvage this last guy. Got our civilians here, which was our goal. And we will dock. Warp drive active. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Ah, complete mission two. Cool. We get some ISK. <laughs> Claim that. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted.
and we will turn this in and that'll be it for today so have a good one everyone hopefully tomorrow we'll have time to do some mining <laughs>